When it comes to budget options for comm systems, you've got a few solid players now. You've probably heard of EarTech and Hollyland, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about another great option to consider for your church's comms needs, the Came TV Communicate system. So Came TV reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in reviewing these headsets, but they've not seen this video before posting and I'm not being paid for anything. These are just my honest thoughts. But before we dive into the review, take a look at this comparison chart and see how I would rank these units against EarTech and Hollyland. So let's dive into some of the specs. Test out the range, compare it to some other units, and then I'll tell you who I think this system is really best suited for. Came TV sent me a package of five headsets, but you can really scale the system from two all the way up to nine units using a hub to suit your needs. The case is really the best case I've received for headsets compared to EarTech and Hollyland units. So I guess if you're a mobile church, that's a small consideration, I suppose. The headsets themselves are really nice. They're pretty much plastic, but they do feel substantial, well-made. I do wish that the master headset was easier to find, but I guess that's a small issue when you could just put a piece of tape over it. These are all single ear versions, which is my preference for working in a live environment, but they do offer a dual ear option, which you may want. The Communicate headsets are a full duplex, all-in-one digital wireless headset. Full duplex just means that it's all the microphones can be in the on position and open for easy communication back and forth. Also, these run off of the tiny Canon MB6L batteries and will last upwards of 10 hours, which is really great. Now, they claim to have a range of 1,500 feet, but that's an open line of sight, so we will do some real-world tests in just a bit. One of the nice things about these types of headsets is that they use DECT, which is Digital Enhanced Cordless Telecommunications, <laughs> and that's in the 1.7 megahertz band, and it's not 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, so Wi-Fi will not cause interference with these units. That's all that means. So let's test out the range with these. Our master headset's gonna be in our booth, and I'm just gonna be walking around the church to do some real world tests. So right now I've got the EarTech and the Came TV simultaneously at the same distance from my mouth and I'll swap between the audio. We're here in our worship center. There's our sound booth where our director usually is. And our camera ops can go all around here, no problem. We can go out in the hallways. I'll do some little bit of range tests, but honestly, we haven't had any issues. All right, I'm here in the corner of the worship center, which is about 75 feet away from our booth over there, so not very far. You notice that EarTech has a little green halo light that tells you that it's on, which can kind of be weird uh, against your face, but just a small thing there. The ear tech is definitely a lot louder. Let's go out in the hallway. All right, so we're walking down the hallway now. The worship center is behind me. And we would never even go this far in our worship center. And really what I've realized is for churches, the main thing you need to consider is drywall between your stuff. Maybe if your broadcast room is in a different area, that's a consideration. But if you're in the same room, any of these systems are going to be fine. Usually these work okay even all the way down this hallway, and if I step behind the wall, usually one will cut out at least. And if I step behind the wall, usually one will cut out at least. But it's pretty windy today. These do have a little wind muffs on them, but I don't really do a whole bunch. The sound booth is probably 300 feet from me or so. And a lot of glass and different walls. Okay, so now we're back inside the building, heading back towards the worship center. I haven't heard that it's lost the connection or anything, so I can really safely say, guys, if you're using any of these units, you're probably going to be pretty pretty safe. So here's my quick pros and cons list for the Came TV Communicate headsets. The pros are the noise-canceling mic is awesome. The price is really good. It's got great range. The case is super solid. They've got options for dual ear headsets. Hollyland Solicom does not actually offer that. But some of the cons, the battery door is just flimsy, could get lost easily. The fit of the headset is a little heavier than some, and the volume of the earpiece is probably the biggest drawback. All that said, 
who is this really for? In my opinion, these headsets are very similar in performance to the EarTech Ultralight series. They're basically identical in price and features. Where I think the Came TV units move ahead is the directional mic, the case, and the advertised range. So if you're in a loud worship center and you'd like the cam ops to be able to keep their mic down, then these are the units I'd go with right now. And I'd probably do the dual ear versions just to help with the volume of the headsets. Now the Hollyland solid comms are still a solid choice and I'm tempted to stick with them, but we now have one extra headset that came with the came units. I mean, my camera ops like the fit and the volume of the Hollyland units, but they really like not having to worry about putting the mic up and down while they're hand holding a gimbal or a camera. <laughs> so I think we're gonna be sticking with the Came Communicate units. So there you go, friends. I really don't think you can go wrong with any of these three units. So if you found this review helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to purchase any of these headsets, I'm gonna link them in the description below. And if you'd like to see my comparison of the EarTech units against the Hollyland units, watch this video. Thanks a bunch. And remember, we can do a lot of great things, guys. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.